I'm Alex, and I'm here to share my vegan and allergy-friendly recipes inspired by my world travels. I'll be cooking while I'm traveling, so each new destination means a new kitchen and working with what I have. It will sometimes be a challenge, but I will always have the right tool for the job, creativity. My passion to explore the world is driven by my love for food. Traveling gives me the opportunity to experience new cuisines firsthand. The ingredients I will be using will be inspired by local flavor of each destination. Hey, I'm Alex, and welcome back to my petite Parisian kitchen. Today, I'm making something a little unconventional for a vegan gluten-free uh, cooking show. Escargot. So, Emily, my wife, has never had it. I had it a long time ago, and you know what I really thought? It was kind of unnecessary for it to be a snail. Like, you mostly just taste garlic and butter. Which, I'm not using butter, I'm going to be using coconut oil. And I'm not going to be using snail. I'm going to be using tofu. And for our, our snail shells, I'm using some mushrooms. So, this is the first time for me, and I hope you like it. I hope I like it, and I hope Emily likes it, because she's going to be judging it. So, let's try this and see how it goes. It should be pretty easy. We're going to start with some garlic. I'm just going to start breaking up some cloves and uh, crushing them and dicing them up. We're going to go with about six. I'm going to take my chef's knife and smash my clothes. Get the skin out of there and throw away my waste. You want to try and get these uh, as finely minced as you possibly can. If you have a blender or food processor, it'll probably go faster. You can even use a garlic press. But I only have a knife. Once you have it minced to as far as you can get it or as far as you like, add it to your bowl. Next, one shallot. It's kind of like an onion, if you don't know. So like an onion, you just want to peel off the outer skin. and mince like you did the garlic. You want to get them as minced as possible so you can um, blend it thoroughly. And it looks good to me. Let's add that to my bowl with the garlic. Beautiful. Okay, now let's add our other ingredients. Coconut oil. Put 
This is our butter replacement. And it's gonna be about a quarter cup. Next, I'm going to add some parsley. This parsley is already mixed with olive oil and pre minced, so that's pretty helpful. About a half a tablespoon or so. About a half a teaspoon of salt. And about a half a teaspoon of ground pepper. Also going to add about a half a teaspoon or quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. and some white wine. Tablespoon to two and mix. Okay, that's our mixture. heat my remaining coconut oil, which is about a teaspoon to a tablespoon. You don't need a lot, you just need to cover the bottom of the pan. And we're going to heat that until melted, just on low. While that's melting, I'm going to de-stem and core my mushrooms. Feel free to throw in some of your stems into the mixture and blend that in. All right, so now that I have my nine de-stemmed and cored mushrooms, I've mixed in about three stems and, that I've chopped and into the mixture. And our coconut oil is fully melted, so I'm gonna turn it off the heat, make sure that the pan is completely covered at the bottom. Don't want any sticking, there we go, fully covered. And just let that remove from heat for a moment. I can even put my mushrooms in there for the time being to make sure everything fits properly. Oh, 
Looks good to me. Now it's time for tofu. I found some very soft tofu. I'm going to drain that just like you do with every tofu I've ever found. So, you're going to take your tofu and you're going to cut slits in it about a quarter inch long. And then I'm just going to actually try and scoop those out. Drain a little more. There we go. It's very soft tofu. Falls apart, no big deal. And then I'm going to actually cut these into longer lengths. So with our mushrooms, I'm going to spoon in some of our mixture. Take in our piece of tofu. I'm just going to heat my pan to about medium and I'm going to cover. Check on them every few minutes, but it should be ready to go in about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to take my vegan gluten-free baguette and just slice up some uh, little slices. And when I'm done, I'll have about nine pieces of bread, one per snail. And we're just going to toast them. They're starting to sizzle. Can you see me? Cheers. Okay, let's take a look how our progress is going. I think we're ready. They're done. Welcome back, Emily, my wife, and my judge for all of my meals. Are you ready for your first time with any kind of escargot? Well, 
I heard I was about to eat a really fancy meal. So I got a little dressed up for the occasion and I feel ready. You to look eat ready. A delicacy. It is it is very much so a delicacy. It's a bit delicate too, so I don't want to get your gloves dirty, so I think it's okay to take them off. Now, with normal escargot, you would actually be taking a little fork and mm -hmm. taking the insides out because the shells would be inedible. Not edible. But this version, you can eat everything that's on the plate, including this little toast that it's on of the baguette. Now, feel yeah. free to uh, go ahead and cut them in half or smaller pieces um, because it can be quite a large bite otherwise. Okay. Look at that. It's quite adorable, the presentation, first of all, and I really love how the end of the baguette kind of already looked like a little snail shell, and so let me put that on the plate. Okay, here we go. Wow, that was a good job on that big bite. I didn't think you'd be able to take all that. Mmm. Mmm. Really? She got a chew. Because <laughs> I took such a big bite. Not because it's chewy, as I would imagine a snail might be. It's not chewy. It's delicious. I have no idea what a snail might taste like, but I think you're right in saying that it doesn't need to be a snail, because now that I'm tasting these flavors, mm -hmm. it's all about these flavors. Exactly. And it wouldn't matter what you put it on, and it really helps the fact that I love mushrooms, I love the texture of mushrooms, mm -hmm. and I think it's just... it works very nicely with a mushroom. The flavor is so yummy and surprising to me because if you ask me if I like garlic and butter, I would say, no thanks. Right. Um, but with everything together, blended with the shallot in there, with the parsley and the wine, mm -hmm. And the mushroom, it's a great flavor. So. Yeah, I love it. You love it? How I many plates it. would you give this meal, dish? I think I would give it five plates. Five it's got plates. a lot going for it. It's got presentation. It's very pretty. Um, it's you can still make it fancy yeah and i think you've done a really good job of making it fancy with you know what we have in this airbnb kitchen which is almost nothing these plates <laughs> um, <laughs> but can you imagine like serving this at a party is like an hors d'oeuvre or like a mm -hmm. passing um hors d'oeuvre or something like that or like having a platter of it on a table how fun how fancy you don't have to eat a cute little animal nope. to feel fancy or to get garlic breath. No. And, I, you know, my personal suggestion, if you are going to have, like, a date meal of this, just make sure you're both eating it and then it cancels each other out. Mm -hmm. Or, like, you've been together long enough where you're just like, <laughs> look, <laughs> <laughs> we know it's going to be bad breath, okay? Like, yeah. But it tastes so good. It's 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 worth it. Maybe it's not a first date meal, but um, you know, I don't I know. But know. in a way, it kind of is because it's pretty impressive. Yeah. What you can do with it, and love. Well, it's just a very nice presentation. I'm excited about it. I love the flavors. I love the textures. I love any time I get to eat a mushroom. 
Well, I love you. Aww. Alright, on that note, we're going to eat vegan <laughs> and eat all of these little not snail escargots. This vegan, gluten-free escargot that you can make in your own home with minimal tools and be done in about a, less than a half an hour. That's the sound of someone satisfied with the dish. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more of my videos, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my whole journey as I go from country to country, be inspired by local flavors and cuisines and recreating them in a vegan, gluten-free way. And I'm just here to eat. Just here for the food. I'll do a little camera work on the side. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And you, you know, you gotta make sure the crew's happy. This is how. Alright, thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more. Later. <clears throat> mm -hmm.